ginkgo else conifer else tadzels see here the last class we completed morphology and uh, anatomy psychedelis ginkgolis coniferalis okay okay sir yes today we are going to discuss male and female gametophytes development of male and female gametophyte here now you see already you know very well the word gymnosperms here i am showing uh, i am sharing one slide is able hello yes sir yes sir our slide is visible yes sir ah. yes sir available ah uh, yes so now you see here the word gymnosperm that is of gymnos already you know very well where the naked sperms where the naked seeds means the seeds was first used in theophrastus and the fabul of aristotle in his famous book enquiry into plants he is used to term in all those plants having unprotected beza without cover seeds on the basis of their seeds with or without covering are grouped into major categories so that is a uh, namely one it is in angiosperms and gymnosperms the plants are spermatophyta divided into subdivisions so already i completed in the last class so these are all the introductions in spite of so just i am giving a little introduction about what is angiosperms what is gymnosperms the spermatophyta is divided into subdivisions one it is gymnosperms second one that is in angiosperms okay so please tell me here what is the meaning of gymnosperms Vijay Lakshmi, please tell me what is the meaning of gymnosperms. Naked seeds. Big lovely. Naked seeds. Naked seed. Naked seeds is there. That is gymnosperms. Okay. Yes. So now we are going to discuss reproductive organs. already you know very well the last class we had already completed what is a reproductive organs the male reproductive organ we call that is in microsporophylls second one that is in megasporophylls 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 group of sporangiums we call that is in sporophylls group of sporophylls that is in cones okay strobules one is in microsporophyll second one that is in megasporophylls okay so here the ovules of gymnosperms are very free the freely exposed before and after the fertilizations while in case of gymnosperms where means uh, you know here vessels is there vessels okay and uh, sperms mean that is of seeds the ovules are enclosed with the carpel thus due to this the angiosperms are consider considered as the most advanced type of an angiosperms in the plant kingdom so this is of an angiosperms so here the comparity angiosperms and gymnosperms mean the gymnosperms are less advanced but they have some specific characters or features so this is already you know very well the last class uh, we discussed about in this uh, all the points okay so next now you see here so in our uh, topic one first one that is in psychedelis second one is ginkgolis and third one that is in coniferalis next one that is in taxalis 
and last one is nitelis entire in this group total in this gymnosperms group cycadelis this is in primitive groups nitelis it is in advanced okay but here what type of development we are looking in this one so we are going to discuss about in that one yes first now we are going to discuss uh, reproductive structures of in cycadelis so first reproductive structures of in cycadelis <clears throat> uh, here the first here the gymnosperms so already we know very well the gymnosperms are heterospores one minute the gymnosperms all are homospores or heterospores heteros heterospores you know? sir what is the meaning of heterospores both uh, the male and female cells are different in structures yes means microspores microspores is there and megaspores megaspore. that's why we yes. call that is in heterospores so there are they may not they may not be much uh, apparent differences in size but uh, physiologically microscopes develop into male gametophyte next one that is in megaspores into female gametophyte female gametophyte these uh, micro and megaspores develop in micro and next one that is in megasporangia okay so next one, the sporangia is attached to where the sporophylls i already told the sporangia are attached into sporophylls sporophylls which contain the spores we call that is in sporophylls Spor okay. yes sporangia sporangia which contain the spores spores means for example now you see this Spoon. one this one it is in sporangia this yes, sporangia sir. is contain the spores okay spores sporangia group of Spor sporangia we call that is in cones or strobules okay sir okay na yes the sporophylls are arranged means this sporophylls are arranged a spiral manner covering with central axis okay those male and female cones develop these cones may be present on the plant monoecious for example that is in pinus on the different plant that is in dioecious some of the plants are monoecious some of the plants are dioecious okay so means so where the dioecious so we are looking male and female uh, reproductive organs are separate where the monoecious so there we are looking only male and female reproductive organs the microspores and megaspores develop into duto where the reduction divisions in the respective mother cells so the sporophyte diploid spores haploid and uh, the cycas the microsporogenid cones large but size is megasporangid cones are absent where as in other cycadelis so next one that is in axelis just one minute Yes. Uh, next, uh, see, uh, the gymnosperms are heterospores. Microspores we call that is in pollen grains. The responsible for the development of male gametophyte. Megaspores are female gametophyte. Microspores is the first cells of male gametophyte. Okay. Microspores. Microspores are the first cells of where the male gametophyte. So you see, before going that one, you know very well. So you know that one gametophyte and sporophyte. When we are looking in plant, whenever we are looking the one plant, we are looking two stages. One it is in gametophytic stage. 
second one is sporophytic stage two stages is there okay so what happened here some some of the plants sporophyte depending on the gametophyte some of the plants are depending on the gametophyte but in our gymnosperms in our gymnosperms the gametophytes are short living plants sporophytes are dominating plants sporophytes are dominating plants so any plant any plant so we are looking in two stages gametophyte and sporophyte but here sporophyte is dominating plant okay the gymno and uh, one more important point here the most of the gymnosperms is prothallus cells are produced most of the gymnosperms are prothallus prothallus means so the when the seeds are germinated the seeds are germinated little vegetative structures we call that is in prothallus in between the gametophyte and sporophyte <clears throat> so next uh, Uh, here it is. The pollen grains divided. The pollen grains are divided into central cells and uh, prothallus cells. Where the pollen grains, where the pollen grains, the pollen grains are not directly, directly produced to the plant. The pollen grains are produced. Pollen grains are produced little. vegetative structures we call this is in prothallus this prothallus is germinated new plant sporophytic plant here sporophytic here gametophyte in between one juvenilized stage is there we call this is in prothallus is it okay now the central cells again it is divided produces antheridial initials and the second prothallus cells on prothallus cells developed in cycles antheridial initial formed after the first division of microspore some genera microspore directly some of the genera the microspores are directly develops in antheridial initial without development of prothallus cells okay some of the plants some of the gymnosperms some of the spores are directly directly produced to the new plant without prothallus okay where the advanced where the advanced group where the advanced groups are looking this type of the characters the antheridial initial divided into form of the antheridial cells and tube cells the antheridial cells gives rise to spermatogenous spermatogenous so this is of in reproductive organs cell and stalk cells two male gametes develop from spermatogenous cells more number of male gametes occurs in microcycus and few species of cuperus of juniperus male gametes in cycus ginkgo and microcycus multiflagellate the formation of more number of prothallus cells is a primitive characters Found that is of Podocarpaceae and uh, Arachidiaceae. Okay, this is the little reproductive organs entire the gymnosperms. The female gametophyte develop is monosporic. That is development of a gametophyte takes place by means of division in the single functional megaspores. But of that is of in Wilwet Scachia and Metam is tetrasporic. Okay. in the genera the functional megaspores are spice nucleus without wall formations okay so this is the uh, male reproductive organs and female reproductive organs so now you see here the first we are going to discuss uh, where the cycadelis reproductive structures of in cycadelis the cycadelis or the dioecious cycadelis plants are dioecious and hence possesses male and female reproductive structures in different plants okay one is the male plant is there second one is female plant is there so some genera including uh, cycus sex of individuals is determined by the sex and uh, y chromosomes yes so next now you see uh, 
the megasporophylls megasporophylls means female uh, female 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 cones female reproductive organs the reproductive organs for example now you see this is a cycas plant tip of the portions tip of the branches one of the cells okay one of the structures is going to as a modified in female reproductive organs or male reproductive organs where it is in tip of the branches so tip of the tip of the branches sir yes tip of the branches so only the tip of the branches will bear the reproductive organs yes right? yes, yes 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 thank you sir where we are looking means in all the cones are developed only tip of the branches okay yes so next now you see they are now where it is in number of arise single or small cluster like structures cluster like structures okay sometimes you are looking in only one some of the members are sir you are on mute this comes automatically this going on how it is okay yes sir so one minute the reproductive organs are born in the form of compact cones in all living genera which are terminate the female plant okay the cycles loose of leaf like megasporophylls are spirally arranged alternate with the catafilis and vegetative leaves the megasporophylls in the female cone are spirally arranged around the cone axis generally only one female cones are produced at the apex but sometimes two cones may also develop due to development of another meristems here see now this is the branch here this is the branch one of the section one of the cell is going to modified as the reproductive organs the first this cell is divided two equal parts one part it is a basal cell another part is going to as a male reproductive organs the basal part is attached to where the uh, where the which one that is in the plant base okay means it is taking food material from the plant so we call that is a basal part above part above part is going to as a modified in female so female reproductive organs okay. as an epibasal and hypobasal cells as ah yes yes okay so okay. generally the female cones the female cones are produced at the apex of but sometimes two cones may also develop due to development of another meristems the smallest female cones about how many centimeters mean that is a 2 to 3 sometimes are looking more than 3 or 4 centimeters okay cycades develops so next now you see some of the female cones sometimes so in cycas family so are looking more than 82 or 90 centimeters sometimes are looking 62 to 75 uh, centimeters okay the megasporophylls of cycas leaf in nature the megasporophylls of cycas are leaf in nature is the regrated to be most primitive one it is believed that during the evolution they still fill your part of megasporophylls cycadales gradually reduced in the size along with reduction in the number of ovules on the megasporophylls hence so that megasporophylls of cycas 
having left the still part of many pairs of ovule represent that okay so this is the the most of primitive most of primitive form of megasporophylls with uh, that is of macrozymia and zymia bearing the only two ovules two ovules is there so now you see here so for example so this is of in uh, so megasporophylls so these megasporophylls so we are looking one two three four five sometimes you are looking only two uh, one or two sometimes you are looking more than one or more than three and four so which one that is of ovules here so here you see megasporophylls mean this is in female reproductive organs this female reproductive organ so which one that is in ovule like structure is there ovule like structures micromene that is of in male it is produced to the pollen grains so here this is of in mega mega means here it is in female reproductive organs okay is it clear now yes sir yes so next to second point in psychedelics that is of in male cones okay so male cones are compact very close structures very close structures so here i am showing one uh, which one that is of one diagram now you see different type of the so number a that is of in a b c d e f so many is there so here f mean this is of in microsporophylls micro sporophylls that is a male one that is a male ones yeah. so here number g g you see that is of it all spores all here it is in spores the spores you are looking where it is in in between part of sporophylls group of sporophylls we call that is in cones we call that is in cones the male cones are very compact structures which consist of central cone axis which is covered by several which one that is in microsporophylls means so for example now you see this one here it is in one microsporophylls okay microsporophyll microsporophylls all microsporophylls are together we call that is in cones so this microsporophylls so here we are looking in sporangiums in between of microsporophylls we are looking in sporangiums so for example now you see here this one f1 this one is a oh uh, we call that is a fin sporangiums Micro. sporangiums okay so this sporangiums is contains spores spores sporangiums i next one that is a fin sporophylls group of sporophylls or group of sporophylls are we call that is in cones cones are cones okay so this is structure so this uh, development means these entire the microsporophylls development that is of in use for anchate use for anchate so just now i already told so for example now you see here the tip of the branches so here we are looking one cell this cell is germinated microsporophylls so here we are looking one group of cells this group of cells are germinated to which one that is of in the male uh, means of sporophylls so this type of the development we call that is in use branchiate development use branchiate means the microsporangium microsporangium is comes from one group of cells okay so we call this is in uh, use branchiate development yeah yes so next now you see here that is of in in the gametophyte means gametophyte means when 
the spores after the development after the development the spores are comes to outside this chamber outside these chambers okay so when comes to outside this chamber it goes to directly where the female reproductive organs okay so we call that is in fertilizations we call that is in fertilizations okay here the cycadaceous ovules are sessile sessile means there is no any uh, stalk like structures stalk like structure will be not structures there. okay surrounded by the single integument the integument consists of three layers among which outer inner and uh, middle layers okay three layers is there one it is in outer layer means when we are looking the female female means here it is in ovule like structures this ovule like structures outer layer middle layer inner layers so we are looking in three layers male means it produces to the spores here female means this is female structures means ovule okay so ovule egg like structures is there so three layers is there here uh, next now you see uh, where we are looking in nucleus outer inner middle in between in between in between the nucleus in between sorry in between the female reproductive organs so there we are looking uh, which one that in some type of the egg cells okay so we call that is a mega spores mega spores of mother cells means in between the nucleus is there is it clear okay, now yes sir there is a fin okay so when enter the female reproductive when enter inside the where the male reproductive organs okay what happened here complete the fertilization when it is completed to the fertilizations what is going on here it is going on here next it is modified as a zygote okay so this zygote is modified as a seed the seed is germinated to the new plant but here what happens okay, this is the process but here okay here what happens after the fertilizations after the fertilizations here formations one vegetative structures one vegetative structures okay so where the vegetative structures so we call that is in gametophyte we call that is in gametophyte so this gametophyte is produced to the new plant new sporophytic plant so these type of the structures we are looking in this one after this uh, female gametophyte is contain the very cavity represents of the pollen chambers so this section is modified as the next one is a seed it is seed so this seed is uh, is going to uh, when the soil automatically it is produced to the new plant okay so this one is a female gametophyte and similarly same we are also looking in the male gametophyte hello yes, some uh, some yes. net problems is there here yes, okay okay it is some some hello hi what about sir i'm not just Travel and return.
Hello. And a little disturbance is uh, a disturbance here. Yeah? Okay. Uh, next one. Now you see here the pulling grains are male gametophyte. Yeah. So now you see here this one is a psychedelis. So once again, allusion here that is often uh, psychedelis. So number one that is often. Uh, microsporophylls, second one that is of in megasporophylls after the fertilizations. So that is a uh, uh, male gametophyte, second one that is in female gametophyte. Okay, means pollen grains are male gametophyte, second one that is in male gametophyte. So this is a cycus, I mean psychedelis. So next now you see second one we are going to this of in Ginkgo biloba or ginkgo -less. So here now this is a little bit advanced characters. Advanced characters are like in ginkgo biloba. The present order of ginkgo is representative by only one living member in ginkgo biloba because this is in living fossil. Living fossils. Only one plant you are looking in ginkgo biloba. In ginkgo list, in ginkgo list, we are looking at only one plant that is of ginkgo biloba. In the examinations, this one is most important, ginkgo biloba. Okay, the ginkgo biloba, it is a dioecious plant, means the male and female plants. Okay, so we are looking uh, difficult to be differentiated when the young, according to the Lee, uh, when it is in 1954. The ginkgo is a determinant the sex chromosomes X and Y male and X and X female. The reproductive bodies of ginkgo are most primitive among living seed plants except from except of some of the cycas. See, in the when you are studying in ginkgo list, the most important plant that is in ginkgo biloba. So only one plant is there in ginkgo biloba. We call that is a living fossil, living fossil plant, okay? So this is the most uh, primitive plant in all living seed plants, except of in cycus, means cycus, psychedelis, benetitalis, means this is only where the fossil plant, despite of some of the members also we are looking in uh, cycus, uh, in cycus plants here. Yeah. Yes, so next now you see here, the first one that is of in male strobules. Already you know very well. Here, when we are studying in ginkgo biloba, where the strobulus, strobulus are in clusters, clusters. Okay. But now again, I am not going to what is the uh, strobules. Already you know very well. Strobules are cones, synonyms, names, strobules. So here, the ginkgo. Ginkgo is all the strobules are in the clusters like cluster like structures is there where the 
टिप ऑफ द ब्रांचेस टिप ऑफ द शूट टिप ऑफ द शूट ओके एंड नाउ यू सी हियर ईच मेल स्ट्रोब्यूल्स ईच मेल स्ट्रोब्यूल्स आर कंटेन सेवरल माइक्रोस्पोरोफिल्स द अरेंजमेंट और लिटिल बिट वेरिएशन फ्रॉम साइकस एंड हियर द साइकस इट इज इन वेरी क्लोज the ginkgo biloba is a very loose arrangement where the central axis each microsporophyll has a long stalk like structure is there terminating into the hump of knob it contains two pendant microsporangia according to some workers of terminal knob presents at the observatory sporangia the mucilage duct is present in the knob rarely more Or two branches are present in microsporophylls. Rarely, okay. So here, the most important point of ginkgo biloba, first one is the clusters. Probules are clusters. See, in the cycas, we are looking in only one, one. When you are looking here, it is of in clusters. Understand all of you? Yes, sir. Please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Hmm. The outermost mm -hmm. layer, outermost layer is differentiated into single layer tapetum. The sporogenous cells from many tetrads and haploid microspores, which later into separate. Okay, this is a fin ginkgo biloba. And next, now you see. Here, the microspores development of in microsporangium is eusporangiate development. Okay, eusporangiate development. The microsporangium arises from a single initial cells. Okay, single initial cells means this is the branch. In this branch, in this area, where it is in the sporangium development. Okay, sporangium development. We call that is in eusporangiate. What is the meaning of eusporangiate? Mean this sporangium comes from the single cell. We call this is in eusporangiate development. Okay, so in this eusporangiate development, so here we are looking first first cell. The first cell we call that is of in mother sporangium cells. Mother sporangium cells. So. We call here it is in B cell. B cell first it is divided two equal divisions. So one it is in the cell wall is a primary sporogenous cells. Microsporangium is of use branched type. Single that is of a single archisporal cells divided into periclinal divisions and a second one that is of in a means. So periclinal antigen two type of the divisions is there. So one it is in basal cells, second one that is of in upper cells. Okay. So here now you see. So I am showing the one pictures just to compare to what is the cycas and here. Okay. So now this is of in microsporophylls means where the cycas, but here. So here now you see this of in group of structures is there. This one here is a group of structures is there. Yeah. So that is of in male reproductive structures. Only two or three points is most important in you know, male reproductive structures. So one it is in clusters is there. The development it is a eusporangia development. The arrangement is very loose. That is of in gang. Mean these are all the identification characters. So when I am showing in the practical classes, so this is of which one? Where the clusters is there? We call that is of in ginkgolis. Where the loose arrangement is there? That is of in ginkgolis. Okay. So the the development is to common point. The first one, the cell is divided into equal parts. So one it is divided, mother cell. Second one is automatically it goes to the Yeah, it goes. It is already goes to the the male reproductive organs. Okay, so now you see here. This is a group of uh, uh, 
so phone C is there. Yeah, similarly, second one, same. When you are completed the male and second one that is the female. So little bit variation is there. Female cones and male cones. Okay. The female cones are origin very dwarf shoots of where the female tree. Why mean this is a dioecious plant? Different type of the so means male or female are separated. Yeah. So the female, the origin of bone and dwarf shoots of the female tree arise from the axil of foliage, scaly leaves at apex of dwarf shoots. These are much reduced in the structures, each leaving a long, long stalk, means our pedunculus is there. Okay. Female strobules. Female strobules means this is in ovule-like structures. Ovule-like structures. Okay. This is a blind identification. Male. Male means polling grains. Female means ovule-like structures. Okay. So, means the ovule are born in the long uh, stalk like structure is there. Each long structure minimum uh, the stalk possesses uh, it is a two or three. So, ovules at the tip, peduncle uh, tip of uh, peduncle tip to give rise to the branches, each of which bears the sessile ovules is there. From these, only experts of maturation, maturations and other get aborted each ovule of. Uh, and circulated at the base of polar, which is uh, regarded of megasporophylls. Okay. The next show, the vascular tracts are supplied peduncle. Means, so peduncle means the stalk-like structures is there. The minerals, proteins absorbing, where from the, so plant, so where the vascular tracts supply the peduncle having two ovules and with increase in the number of ovules vascular tract it doubles. So now you see here I am showing. So this is a fin, female reproductive organs. You see now here this one leaf like structure is there with the so one, two, three, four long shoot with drop shoots uh, bearing the leaves. Uh, and female strobules just below here. Here we are looking to the female strobules, okay, with the pairs of sessile ovules, later stage with mature ovule. Other, uh, so this one, this one it is in Ginkgo, Ginkgo lis, okay, and a similar next one that is of in conifers, same means a, here little bit. Uh, Advanced special features we are looking. There are there are exits of great amount of variation reproductive structures members of different families of conifers. Okay, the reproductive structures here we are looking in only that is of in where the pinus reproductive pinus the conifers of the pinus pinus is the most important in the where it is of in conifers. So first now you see here. The male cones are also known as where the conifers. The male cones are known as staminoid cones. Staminoid. See, now I am using in only first word. Which one that is some? Tell me here. Staminoid. Staminoid. No spams. We are using the first word. Before, before. Okay, this word there is no. Understand? Please respond, anyone? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before we are saying in only spores, 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 spores. Okay. Now, now what I am saying here? Stemmanate. Saying here? Stemmanate. 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 Okay. You see how the plants are going. Okay, non flowering to flowering. Where the cycas and ginkgo, ginkgo biloba, already I told gymnosperms are not true plants, true flowering plants. But yes, sir. Here we are looking in flower like structures. Okay. 
Alex Carola is united. In first, Saikas and Inko Bailoba were not looking to, they are not looking to these type of the strobulus. These type of the strobulus means steminoid strobules, steminoid strobules. Is it okay now? Okay. The male cones are known as steminoid cones. They develop in the axis of scaly leaves on the branches of unlimited growth. Unlimited growth as the drop shoots are normally produced in the axis of scaly leaves. The male cones are considered as modified drop shoots. Drop shoots. Okay. The male cones develops in group of 15 to 140 just behind the apical boards on the branches of unlimited growth. Unlimited growth. The main shoot thus contains grow the further. The male cones can be seen in the pine tree, pinus tree, in the pinus tree, in the beginning of middle March, in the hills, uh, where the hill ranges, where the all fine ranges. So we are looking in January or uh, February. The shading pulling grains, pulling grains starts towards the end of April. April continue till the beginning of June. The end cones are, end cones are green or reddish purple colors. So many types of colors is there, but becomes yellow at the time of shading. After the pollen is shed, the male cones with us in files or it. Next point, the male cones are white outlines measures about to where the three to four centimeters along and uh, some zero point uh, six four centimeters diameter at the base of the cones three there is a uh, an invalid care consisting a number of small imbricate bracts so the microsporophylls are born spirally on the central axis which is divided of bracts, the male cones therefore becomes homologous, homologous to the main flowers. Angiosperms or uh, angiosperms are not to an infero can see. Okay, so you see now here in these sections, in these sections, so this is a common point. Now I am not going the detail, always I am saying spores, spora, sporophylls, and uh, which one there is a group of sporophylls is uh, strobules. But what is the main variations? How can we identify? So that is a Fendinko Bailoba and uh, Coniferalis. Coniferalis. But now you see this Coniferalis. So we are looking steminoid flowers. That is a steminoid flowers. Okay. You see the megasporogenate cones are composed of number of spirally arranged bracts. The axle of these bracts are produced. Auliferous scales in each in each of these scales, two ovules are present, where the female reproductive organs. Okay. So before go your female reproductive organs. Mm -hmm. See now here that is of it. Microsporophylls. The microsporophylls. Here we are saying that is of in stamens, okay, or arranged to the spirally arranged at the angles to the cone axis. Each sporophyll of triangulars outline and consist of very short stalk and leaf like uh, that is of expanded structures. Two pollen sacs or microsporangia are present on the lower side, abaxal side of sporophylls. Each branchia is filled with the numerous winged microspores. The scales are situated at the base of cone and uh, sterile. Steriles. The development of microsporangia. Microsporangia is a eusporangiate type of superficials. A group of hypodermal cells take part of sporangias. Development, these cells are divided periclinally to the form of outer, that is of in parental cells, and inner, that is of in 
or cisporial cells. Second point, the partial cells divided and produce four layered wall of the microsporangiums. The wall consists of epidermis, two middle layers, and uh, next one that is of granular tapetums. Granular that is in tapetums. The inner orchisporial cells divided from sporogenous cells, which is of ultimately differentiated into microspore mother cells. These cells are polygonal in outline. In outline, that is a uh, where it is contained the prominent prominent nucleus and uh, here that is of microspores. Later, the spores are separate separate from the where the tetrides of uh, which one that is a uh, meiosis takes place during the last week of January. Okay. So after the development, after the development, the spores maturity, the which one that is a uh, sporangial walls of slight longitudinally on the dorsal surface. The peel of yellow colored, yellow colored bowling grains are released through the stilt in the form of dust. Okay. So in India, our uh, India, distance of microsporangia takes place in the warm of where the dry conditions, form of dry conditions, depending on the environmental conditions. Sometimes it is off in January, sometimes it is in March. The microspores are liberated in such large number of large number of that is a fine forest area appear in yellow at the time of dehiscency in called of shore of sulfur shore of sulfur after the pollen is uh, shed the male cone feathers and falls off off so this is the development of in where the male reproductive organs okay so here. You see, the female here, this is the female uh, here. Now you see this one. Okay, so here I am showing the menoid strobules. Yeah, so where it is in number A, the menoid strobules, male strobules is there. See what is the variations. See where the side cuts. Side cuts, it is a the cones are arranged very loose. One one point. When you are coming in a ginkgo biloba, it's a cluster is there. Cluster is there. Here, just like <coughs> flowering like structures. This is also not true flowers. The stamens is there. Means. <laughs> So there we are looking in only spores where the cycas and ginkgo biloba spores. So in here, so here we are looking where the stemenoid means the spores are one stalk like structures is there, stalk like structures. Okay. So after this group, after this group, this section is modified as a flower parts, flowering parts is there, calyx and corolla. And Rishman and Ganeshams. Okay. But here, there's no all these four parts is there, but here we are looking only one that uh, stock like structures is there. So that is of in with the male reproductive organs. So similarly, now you see here this one, this is a female reproductive organs, female reproductive. Okay. The female cones is there in. Uh, where it is in the pinus, the pinus female cones. The female cones are also known as ovulate strobules, ovulate, okay, ovulate, ovulate strobules. So these are fewer, fewer number of arise in a single and small cluster, cluster like, sometimes they're looking more than uh, three or four is there. The arise as a body in the axils. The, it is a scale leaf towards at the end of the new shoots unlimited growth. They replace the branches of unlimited growth. The female cones take about three years. This is most important here. Three years to the nature. The young cones are very small 
compact erect reddish in or other pinkish color the second year cones are large and woody with here for example now you see this is the pinus plant in this pinus plant okay so in this pinus plant so where we are looking in the first year the first year means it is a young stage the young stage young cones are looking like this this is the first year okay so <coughs> after one and two three years it is coming like this the first year looking like this this is the first year okay so after the development it is coming like this to our uh, second or third years okay second or third years the sporophyll still compactly arranged and the third year cones become loose loose the sporophyll separate from one another due to the elongation of cone axis the female cones are much larger then the male cones they are usually 15 to 20 cm long sometimes it is in 3 to 4 cm diameter the cones may be attain a length of about 60 cm from other uh, and that is of coniferous plants the female cones are initiated in the month of when it is a february in hills ranges that is in march the cone axis along it april and other cones that uh, produce out of the invaluable care practices that the seed or seed when cones so uh, 22 months in old sometimes 2 years the female cones are much where the complicated structures like the male cones in all the conifers little bit complicated is there what is the complicated here they consist of central axis which bears where the scale close spiral structures is there the lower scales of the pair is a small it is a called of bract scales so that is a the upper scale is of oriented towards upper side of the normal leaf is there the upper scale of the pair larger thick and uh, that is of stouter it is called of early ferrous it develops for the upper surface bract scale and uh, bear that is of one and uh, uh, Where we are looking the structures, we call this of in apophysis. Apophysis, okay. There is of in uh, where it is in. Yes. So the surface of the cones is uh, that is a small central conical plant. The rhomboidal areas are the outlines of the broad sterile apophysis. Is there the overly fair scale subtip of the apophysis? uh the ambo is of diplo xylon points of dorsal in the positions where is the terminal or dorsal the diplo xylon where the points so here this is of in where the female reproductive organs see now here this is of in male shoot and here it is in female shoot so next now see this is of in tight cells so here also we are looking little bit advanced the pollen grains this one minute what is this one so one minute hello yes sir hello sir audible 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, understood. Yes, sir. yes. So next, now you see. So we are going to the third one that is of in taxalis. Okay, here that one is a uh, taxalis. Taxalis also a little bit a uh, advanced group. Advanced group of which one that is in advanced group of in gymnospans. Okay, so that is in. Just uh, one minute. There the ginkgo biloba and the next one that is of tag sale is. Yes. Uh, next now you see here that is of in cypadelis. The tag sale is. Yes, so the tag cell is the megaspores of mother cells in the ovule divided. Ovule divided in mitotically and the form of four the superimposed megaspores. Superimposed of megaspores. See, here I am telling in directly. So now I am not going to the Detail what is the strobules, what is the microsporophyll, and what is the megasporophylls. Already, so you know very well. In existing function of megaspores, which present towards in Chalaja region, divides us and the development of female gametophyte. The functional megaspores nucleus divided and undergoes repeated free nuclear divisions to form 128 free nucleus in taxa. Okay. So these are free nucleus lie in the that's of in partial region due to the development. Due to the development takes place, the cellular female gametophyte develops. This female gametophyte enveloped by the megaspore membrane. The female gametophyte develops is a flash shaped structures toward the micropylar region, and it is called of tent poles. Some cells. Some cells in the gametophyte remain elongated and in the form of longitudinal stands, cells of conducting in the stands. So this stuff in tag cell is. So here now you see the tag cell is the pulling grains means it is in uh, so male reproductive organs mean that is a microspores. The microspores are arranged in isobiologically or uh, tetrahedral in sometimes the microsporangium is similar to that of pinus exhibits of. Use branchy type development for our eight archisporial cell development of hypodermal. These cells divided from above the mentioned wall layers. I trust why these lines are coming. Some some students are shared some lines. Why? So in male, okay. Second one that is of in female flowers. Where the which one this of in tag cell is. So now I am also using one more word, female flower. Okay. So from in the tag cell is we are using to the female flowers. The female strobules in taxes are gradually reduced and they hardly appear in the cones or strobules. They arise in axils of leaves early in the season but mature on the next seasons. The female reproductive organs comprise of, comprise of short primary axis containing scaly leaves or Please tell me what happened. Some more are kind of arranged. Why? Any doubt?
Uh, okay, now this is so uh, you see here the tag cell is it is an advanced group of entire the some students are sharing why this one. Uh, who is sharing this one? Uh, uh, next, now you see here. So this is of uh, what happened and uh, why this one? So unshare and reshare again, sir. That will be gone. What happened? No, sir. Somebody has put it. Uh, who those is, who is, marking. Who is that you one? can unshare the screen and then share it again, sir. It will be gone. You reshare it? Yes. Uh, yes, now it is okay now. Uh, here now you see this is a fin. Like sale is. Where it is a tag sale is? Uh, tag sale is. Tag sale is it is in advanced group. Okay. The microsporangium similar to that pine as almost all. Yeah. See now here. There this one. So here now you see this is of in where the tag sale is. Yeah. And here the microspores develops into the male gametophyte at the time of shedding the dispersal. It is of union nucleate. The microspores are carried away by winch. Means after the development. After the development, the spores are comes to outside the male so gametophyte. Okay. Similarly, here now you see this is a second one that is a fin the female gametophyte. Okay. So female gametophyte means already you know very well, but that is a fin nucleus like structures. Yeah. So here now you see this is a fin fertilization of embryogeny. Fertilization of in embryogeny. So here now you see this is a fin seed. Seed, the seed coat is a three layer. One is in outermost layer, is a thin bone and the detached stone middle layer is a hot last one that is a fin stony layers is there. So next now you see here, this of reproduction system of Netalis. So Netum means it is in almost all that is a fin advanced group, entire the so, gymnosperms. Uh, here now you see this uh, the netums. Uh, all the species of netums, netalis plants are uh, almost all that is of in netalis. Netalis it is in dioecious plant. The reproductive organs of the netum refer to the flower. Okay. The organized into cones are strobules. The strobules are organized into well-defined compound strobules or inflorescence. See now again, I am using one more important point: inflorescence. Okay, you see, which is usually penuncle inflorescence or usually or usually axillary positions, but terminal inflorescence. Are also not uncommon. Are also not are uncommon. The inflorescence consists of a that is of stout long axis bearing the several flowers. These flowers arise in the axle of decussate pairs of bracts. The bracts of connect throughout their length and the forming of cup-like collar which surrounds in the axis. Okay. The male strobules, the male strobules here, the male strobules are very short, stout axis arising in the axle of contact bracts. The axis is divided into nodes and internodes. Okay, nodes and internodes. See here, the last three 
lessons we are completed which one that is of in sporangium sporophylls okay cones but in netum what happens in needle is what happens in tip of the branches nodes and internodes is there see here where the nodes and internodes is there here what happens see now a means is of nodes and internodes where the b b means in only particularly one part particularly it is of in one part okay so <clears throat> the main strobulus these bracts are fused along their margins and uh, from cup shaped cup shaped structures but that is of in here this is of in cup shaped structure sees there the bracts i'm sure Ten to ten to twenty-five collars is there. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Ten to twenty-five collars is there. In each collar, in each collar, there are several male flowers are arranged. See now here, male flowers are arranged. Now I am using in flower word. Okay. See now here, this or this one. Where is you see this one? A. Yeah. Some flowers is there. One, two, three, four. Each color is contained. So many flowers. One, two, three, four are five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And uh, sir, is it a flower or flower-like structure? You see, let let I will tell. Let I will tell. It's not flower or flower-like structure. We'll tell in the next one. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. There we are looking in only spores. Okay. In ginkgo biloba, where the stalk-like the spores is contained stalk-like structures, but here. so here we are looking in flower flower but this is also not true flower flower like structures this is an advanced group we are the primitive group so we are looking in only cones there is no stamens there is no stalk like structures but here only from in this one from here to so we are looking in a flower like structures so the male flowers single ring in the female ovulate flower the strobulus are very compact when the young but the maturity it becomes loose as uh, collars separate from each other due to the elongation of nodes and internodes okay yes now you see here we are looking in male flowers male flowers number b that is of in male flowers here okay Yes. Now you see, you know very well when you are looking at the male flower, male flower. How many parts is there? Four parts. Any flower. But the first one is calyx, corolla, and rhizom, gynoecium. Okay, four parts is there. Yeah. Four parts is there, but here so we are not looking that four parts. Okay. So here we are looking both together. Which one that is in calyx and corolla together? Because that is in perion. Because that is in perion. Perion-like structures. See these uh, from here to here to the next. We are totally we are totally entwined in angiosperms. Angios angiosperms automatically is a flowering plant. Okay. So now you see the stamens consist of stalk. Okay. That is of an anthophore. This time and here now you see this one is a B. Hebo. This is of an anther. One stalk-like structure is there. Next one, this is of an anther chamber. Anther. So below here, below here, this one is a perianth. Perianth means where the united calyx and corolla. United calyx and corolla. We call this a perianth. Okay. And here this is in andrisiums. And this one is a stalk-like structure. Is there? Next one here of that is of in anthril chambers. So this way it is in where the stalk-like structure is there. That is of an anthophores. Okay, which is at the apex of bears to unilateral anthers of microsporangia. 
when the anthers of mature their stalk elongated and grows and uh, out of the perianth out of the perianth right stills the number of anthers of released size of the anthers lobes of variables after the development so automatically comes to outside the anthereal chambers okay now you see here this if you see this one is polling grains this one is a polling grains so in there directly the sporangiums inside the sporangiums we are looking in the spores the spores are So these spores here, these spores are produced to, okay. So now we call this stuff in polling grains. Is okay. So the development of this microsporangium, this is also you sporangiate. This is also you sporangiate. Yeah. So here this is the development of uh, female. Female means. So this is in only already you know very well. There's a ovule-like structures is there. Ovule-like structures is there. Yeah. So after fertilizations, here modified as a one special type of the structures. So we call that is of endosperms. Okay, the lower part of gametophyte becomes the cellular before the fertilization occurs, and upper part becomes cellular cellular after the fertilizations. The zygote surrounded by the cells in different stages. Of its development into embryos, so means uh, what is endosperms? So when we are the food materials, food material after the fertilization, zygote or everything is modified as endosperm. Endosperm it is a food like uh, structures. So here yeah, now you see this is of in natum latifolia structures A, B, and C. Okay, now you see what is the variations from starting from starting to Uh, which one that is of in first one here now you see this is of in psychedelis sporophylls yeah the so psychus uh, which one that is of in sporophylls here this is of in ovules and uh, next one this is in see now your cones is there use arrangement ginkgo biloba after the ginkgo biloba you yeah, know you see this one this is in conifer this of in conifers after the conifers so where the here yeah, this one netums this is of in netums so this is the various from simple to advanced okay here we are looking in only cones so when you are coming in the netum totally flower like structures so this is also the netums so This is often ovule. This is a neat of ovules. Outer layer, inner outer layer, inner layer, middle layer, in between, in between. Their egg-like structures is there. After automatically fertilization, zygote zygote is modified as a seed. Okay. In uh, when we are looking in the seed, generally this seed here that is often three layers is there. Uh, outer envelope green color, succulent. Free from other envelope made of parenchyma cells, contain of steroids and fibrous epidermis. Okay, second one that is of in middle layer, stony layer like structures, and last one that is of in inner layers. Okay, so next one here this is of in the conifers are usually monoecious with distinct female cones. Okay, pollination. It is of an anemophiles. The seeds of endospermic and uh, endospermic winged the microsporans are sessile about two to eight diameters. Okay, so and uh, next one that is of the uh, lossly. Here it is in of an. Here, gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are all, lastly just I am giving the briefly. The gymnosperms are heterosporous plants. In gymnosperms, 
micro and uh, mega sporocytes undergo subsporogenesis followed by the gametogenesis male and female gametophytes develop from micro and uh, mega sporangiums the microspores divides develop in prothallus cells of antheridial initials the antheridial individuals divided in, into one is a tube cells second one that is of in generate tube means antheridial cells the antheridial cells again it is divided again it is divides and from sterile stock cells of spermatogenous cells the spermatogenous cells divided into male gametes the male cells formed of cuparacy where what is aracariaceae and the next one that is of in metaceae whereas the male nucleus produced that is of in pinaceae for example that is of in epidra both the situations the male gametes all the male gametes are motiles where the cycas and ginkgo biloba and next one that is of in podiatelis non motile presence uh, presence Uh, of motile sperms are primitive same this of in teridophytic characters the pollen grains are germinate to develop pollen tubes the tubes may be branched or uh, unbranched branched tubes are primitive matures gymnosperms are generally shows of monosporic type female gametophyte development but netopsida type for netopsida netopsida that that is of in rarely tetrosporic is observed Tetrosporic type of male gametophyte develops advanced of in angiosperms characters. Okay, so where the during the pollination during the pollinations that is of in pollination drop that is of secreted by the ovule at the microphyll special type of the some chemicals that the pollen is drawn in the transported into archegonial chambers. that the pollen grains are settle in the pollen chamber due to the dissolutions of the nuclear tissues at the micropylar micropylar regions the complex pollen chamber is a primitive characters and simple one it is in advance okay next after the completing the fertilizations zygote after the fertilizations the zygote of the fertilizations enlarges in the starts of the development of the embryo its nucleus divides form a free nuclear phase okay so gymnosperms it's of in poly embryo is also recorded uh, in gymnosperms the embryo is within the ovules the ovule develops into a seed integument the ovules are become seed coat this is of in epicel type germination takes place and develops into sporophytic plant so this is a gametophyte uh, or sporophytic so male and female gametophyte development in entire the gymnosperms is it clear understand all of you yes sir any doubt any doubt so after this lesson next very so is the topic is there that is of in fossil so i think this is already completed fossil gymnosperms it is also very easy so which one that is of in say the one ten page number it's one ten sir one ten page numbers question Uh, this is also very simple. Okay, I think uh, our sir told the gymnosperms, the fossils is already completed. Okay, so we are not going to the fossil discuss. It's already come to the lessons now. Almost all. The first block is totally completed. From tomorrow means day after tomorrow, we are going to the discuss the taxonomy. Okay, the taxonomy is the most and most important topic. So just I am giving a little introduction about the taxonomy. Okay, so here are you going to elaborate on sporangia con uh, taxonomy, sir? 
Yes, no, no. Entire the taxonomy. Entire. Okay. Entire. So, thank you. you. See, the taxonomy. Taxonomy means the systematic yeah. arrangement of the entire sure. the plants. Taxon. Yes, sir. Taxon means systematic. No, me, means means arra arrangement of systematic. We call that is in taxonomy. Okay. Yes. So, sir. It's a father of in Aristotle's taxonomy. Yeah. So for uh, tomorrow two onwards, we'll go to discuss about in the taxonomy. Okay, okay sir. Okay, yeah. sir. So, any doubt in the gymnast terms? So, will you share this slide uh, on WhatsApp, sir? It would okay, be helpful. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Hmm? And today's class was a little bit interesting, sir, because of the uh, slides and the pictures. If yes. I wish, if there was more pictures, so that yes. you know, it would make us understand better. See. This level, whenever you are studying, comparity is the most important. Okay, the yes. first when you know the male megasporophyll and microsporophyll. Okay, so but structurally little bit different structures. Yes. Sir. For example, this is the first finger. When you know the first one, second one is very easy. So when you know the second one, third one is very easy. So when you know the third, yes. one, third one is Fourth. very easy. Yes. That's why when you know the cycus, almost all the characters are same. Only one or two characters little 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 variations. variations. Oh, okay. That's sir. why please you know, read first what is the cycus. Yes. Loose arrangement. So when you are coming here, second one, clusters is there. So third one, stalk like structures is there. Fourth one, flower like structure. That's we all. have to look for the uh, developments. Is that yes. so? Yes, yes, yes. That is important. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. So now we are close to my meeting today. Yes, sir. Thank you yeah. so yes, much, sir. sir, for today's class. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to living now.